I'm going to try to do something a little bit different with my channel. Um, I've been getting into working on the patrol, something that I, I haven't done previously and learning new skills and studying YouTube videos and you know, trying to just increase my knowledge and experience with working on the truck. There's also been some changes happening with it that I haven't shown yet. Uh, and so I thought I'd just kind of go through some of those today. So one of the big changes is I dropped it from six inches to four inches. Um, I replaced the Davison coils front and rear. I kept the front suspension the same, front shocks, but replaced the rear with Fox. It's a little dark in here, so you can't really see them. Um, but the Patrol just drives so much better. Um, I also put these rear clear tail lights in. And with the new tires and wheels, which are the method, uh, I think they're the 304 standard, um, and General Grabber X3s, uh, it just drives so much better. I put the X3s on because A, it was a true 35, um, I was thinking about going Toyo Open Country, but I think those were like a 34.6 and these grabbers are, like I said, a 235, so that's why I went with those. A few other changes that are going to be happening is I'm going to take out that front uh, LED light bar and I'm probably going to put in some Baja Design LP9s uh, right here on those mounts and then I'm thinking about converting these indicators into the clear indicators and another thing I need to do is replace my snorkel since it's been busted up since Paten. Another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut uh, these mounts there which is where I had the swing out See, this was done in Guatemala. They kind of just inverted that and the swing out actually connected in here and then you clamped it there. You locked it in there. I want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of the, the tow ball as well. I also want to get rid of these um, halogen indicator lights. This thing right here, this whole light bar application is coming off as well. Uh, and I'll show you also what I'm doing inside. So inside the patrol, I am sanding everything down at the moment. Uh, just kind of cleaning it up. And I am gonna repaint it. Gotta give it a fresher look. You can see there was no, there was just that mat, that leather mat on top of here. So it was really just tough in the back, really hard. Um, I softened it up with this sort of makeshift mat. It's some gym mats, you know, those ones that you can put together um, just to make it a little softer for, for Jaya. Um, but I really want to clean this up back here. And I'm putting in these Souden Deadeners. This is just eBay specials. I've started cutting it up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put those on all throughout the back and the rear um, just to kind of give it a better driving experience. And another big job that I did was replacing the the front wheel hub assembly and the rotors. So that's all new, new bearings, new seal kit. Uh, and the truck just drives so, so much better with these new wheels and tires and that rebuild. So, oh, and eventually too, I want to replace these seats. They're the original Nissan. I had them sort of re, uh, reupholstered in Guatemala. I really like them. They're just old and not very comfortable anymore. And then eventually I'd like to get all of this repaired. I don't know if you can see it there. It's just, you know, it's pretty damaged. Um, obviously I took the gull wings off and put the rear windows back. It was just a lot better for the dog and um, 
Yeah. Main reason why I'm doing all of these changes to the patrol is just to make it more roadworthy while still giving it a, or keeping a lot of the off-road capabilities of the truck. You're driving on the freeways here with treps and that six inch lift was just not, just didn't make any sense. I didn't feel safe. Um, just really hard to balance those tires. They, you know, they're directional, so rotating them is just a big pain. Um, they're heavy tires and I really just want to kind of convert the patrol into something that gives it a more classical clean look. Um, and now that I have a garage, I just really wanted to try to do all the work myself. Um, so I'm excited about the learning process of this and, you know, really just putting my passion for uh, the Nissan Patrol uh, through my hands into the work that, that I'm doing with it. Um, and it's also just pretty cool seeing the new Y63 recently released and, and I'm hoping that uh, the Patrol name badge and, and sort of you know, knowledge around the Patrol increases here in the U.S. It's a little Land Cruiser heavy, which is fine, you know, I've had an FJ. Um, never owned a Land Cruiser before, but definitely respect Toyota. I mean, to be honest with you, all the vehicle brands are are pretty good now. Ford, Chevy. I mean, yeah, you get some recalls here and there. You know, Ineos. I mean, it's just you can't really buy a bad truck these days. It's just more personal preference. I think people get so attached to you know brand identity that they kind of get tunnel vision on how they see the world. But yeah, whatever. It's not my uh battle to fight. I'm just really excited to be working on the patrol and really seeing the, the way it, it's going to evolve here. Um, I want to get the inside dialed in. Uh, that's going to be really important to me just because like I say I want I just want a better driving experience on the road here um, where I feel safe getting to the trails and then also just killing it on the trails with the patrol. So. And so I just put some of the sound deadening mats into the uh, small barn door. Honestly, I don't know how much of a difference this is actually going to make since they're kind of cheapo eBay, eBay sound deadeners. The reviews were really good, so, um, but I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a difference, but that also could just be like confirmation bias on my end. All right, so I got everything sanded down. I think I did it pretty well. It's not perfect, but um, I think it gets me to a point where I can start painting. All right, so it's the next day. And I put two coats of this Rust-Oleum paint on here. Um, and I'm really liking how it came out. It's, uh, it's nice and smooth. And this is the stuff I've been using. Um, Two-in-one two rust reform and seal. It says it dries in an hour, but it's a complete lie. I guess if you're doing like a really light coat, then maybe it should, but... Uh, I let it dry overnight. Again, just really happy with it. All right, starting to lay down the sound deadening sheets. Comes with a roller, so it makes it pretty easy. Gonna finish this up tonight. And then look at ordering a uh, carpet. I won't bore you guys with laying down the sheets. Um, I'll go ahead and do that on my own and then in the next video, hopefully, hopefully give you an update on, on how that's going. So thanks for tuning in and yeah, we'll be in touch.